A big announcement is coming later today. A brand new pavilion is coming to the center, really, of downtown Flint. Here to tell us all about it, the kind of the guy behind the project, is Stephen Zacks. You are with the Flint Public Art Project. Good morning to you, Stephen. Good morning. Um, so how exciting is this announcement? Uh, we're really thrilled. It's been a, a long project to run this competition, open it up to the entire world, um, everyone in the region. Um, to compete for the opportunity to design and build a temporary pavilion in downtown Flint. Right, to give some people a background, it's going to be located at the flat lot, which is located where? It's the surface parking lot in the middle of downtown Flint where the creme race is staged, where Back to the Bricks is staged, where all the downtown festivals happen. Right, so a flat empty lot, you wanted to open this up to kind of create a center where people can gather and it's kind of a really a focal point in, in the downtown I would say. Yeah, it's kind of been functioning as the main gathering space of the downtown area. So uh, John Gazal of the American Institute of Architects in Flint proposed this idea of a design competition. Competition, very cool. And uh, for Flint Public Art Project, we just saw that as an opportunity to do something spectacular that would attract new audiences. And these pictures that we're looking at right now, these are actually, this is the winner, the winning artist. Exactly, it's a, a firm based in London and Madrid uh, that's composed of, of three young design professionals for 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 us it's a it's a it's a great coup because it's a great connection to this emerging young architecture firm um, and the fact that it attracted uh, responses from around the world from 30 different countries um, 30 plus That's uh, from just the region alone from from Flint and the county Southeast Michigan. And just so people know that, th what we just saw, that's going to be in downtown Flint where, where you said, and that'll be there as of June and it's going to stay there and it could have a permanent home as well. Right now it's just exactly based there the, temporarily. This, the, the, one of the great things about this particular entry is that the materials are so durable uh, that it could actually outlive the season. Um, it wasn't necessarily meant to, it might have just been made of light materials. Absolutely. Steven Zach, thanks so much for joining us. In Thank the you. next hour, we're going to ask him a few more questions as to how they went about choosing this specific design firm. We'll be back. The look of downtown Flint is changing a bit. A brand new pavilion is coming to the center, really, of the city, and the announcement is coming a little later today. The person behind uh, the whole project is joining us this morning, Steven Zachs of the Flint Public Art Project. Good morning to you, Steven. Morning. Um, so explain the background because this was a contest. You put it out there to see who could transform the flat lot in downtown Flint and you had so many responses to this call for this contest. Yep, uh, oh, around 400 regis registrations, th more than 30 from uh, di different countries around the world and uh, 221 final submittals for the competition. And many of these people were from the, this local area. More than 30, 30 from the, the region. So we were r really happy to see the, the broad response and that there was a huge uh, input from the, the local community. And I should say the American Institute of Architects in Flint were really leading this effort alongside us and there was a committee that selected the winning design and you're, we're looking at it right now. That's actually what's going to be in downtown Flint and it's kind of hard to believe. Kind of explain what we're looking at. There's a lot of reflections and what is this and what's the name of this project that won? The, the project is called Mark's House and it, it's inspired by research about the conditions of neighborhoods in Flint uh, and it's kind of a fictional story about a, a, a family who's experience foreclosure and this pavilion is meant to tell a story about um, rising above and um, using design to create uh, a, an, an idea that extends beyond the day-to-day -day reality of the city. Sure. So it's something people can really relate to in Flint, I'm sure, and around the nation. So it's definitely, and the winning uh, team is from London, that's correct? That's correct. It's a, a firm called Two Islands, and uh, the you know the 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 fact that it was this young 
emerging architecture firm that was connected with one of the great design firms uh, in the world was really a reaffirmation for the jury that the process process had been a really great one that had brought the highest quality of work from around the world. And that was really our desire sure. to make sure that we weren't just kind of patronizing the local community and saying, And a, you, you know, got a great design for sure. So Stephen, thanks so much for joining thank us, you. us this morning. The announcement is coming later today, so we're happy that we got this exclusive interview with you this morning. Yeah.